There are things in this world that we cannot explain, but there are also riches and things better left untouched that no man would want. An unwanted gift for a young bride on her wedding day. A quarter billion dollar diamond stolen from an ancient statue that led to a series of strange and unexplainable events, or a painting that you wouldn't want to own. Vsauce Michael couldn't make it out because these are 10 cursed objects scientists can't explain. Like this video to avoid the curse yourself and let's jump to number 10. Cursed entities are not something to mess with, but one that immediately comes to mind is the infamous haunted doll Annabelle from the Conjuring series. In the first movie, the figurine in question is a fine porcelain doll that was originally bought by a gentleman as a gift to his pregnant wife. One night, however, a group of Satanists came by the house and ended up murdering the couple. The group of demon worshippers then performed a ritual where that same doll came to life in the form of the ultimate evil. While the story in the film is fictional, supposedly all of the fiction is derived from fact, and in the case of Annabelle, that's no different. It was confirmed by a medium back around the year 1968 that the real life doll was possessed by a vengeful deceased girl. When the figure was first handled, it displayed various violent tendencies. Since she was discovered, this enraged spirit still has been possessing the doll and to this day is still believed to be cursing loads of people. Uh, somebody went in there and was antagonizing Annabelle and then ended up getting into a motorcycle accident on the way home and I believe he died. Nowadays, the doll sits in the Warren's Occult Museum in Connecticut, mostly kept within the confines of a glass case. It's said that if you even so much as touch this paranormal playtime figure, you're bound to become cursed. Personally, I think I'll keep any time I spend with Annabelle in the theaters rather than going anywhere near that museum. Number nine, the crying boy painting. For whatever reason, back in the 1980s, couples were commonly interested in picking up art prints of a crying boy as a piece of decor for their homes. And while that by itself is a little weird, it isn't particularly creepy. However, what's very chilling about these paintings is that during that decade, many homes with these paintings burned to the ground with only that particular piece surviving the blaze. In the year 1985, an article was published by the name of Blazing Curse of the Crying Boy Picture. It detailed a string of fires that were connected only by the fact that these teary toddlers' portraits were present and intact after the flames were put out. In that news piece was also a warning to all readers that these cursed canvases should not be brought into their homes as the writers believed them to be the cause of these infernos. The boy depicted in the piece would later be given the name Diablo, which is Spanish for devil as a means to suggest that the composition had some demonic tendencies. I don't know about you guys, but I still find it strange as to why anybody would want a crying baby as an art piece in their homes. Number eight, The Rock from Gettysburg. If you remember our video we recently did on ghost sightings, then the name Gettysburg should ring a bell. Known for having uneasy spirits, the town and battle place within it are commonplace for paranormal activity. Most people assume it's simply the grounds that are haunted by wayward ghosts, but unfortunately, this area isn't the only thing these specters are cursing. An unnamed man one day visited park officials to return three stones that he and his wife had taken from the Gettysburg Military Park several years prior. In the years that followed, the couple was plagued with misfortune, with the husband losing his home and child as his wife divorced him. The guy shortly after this was even thrown in jail, and following his imprisonment, his wife also came down with many health problems after his incarceration. The man attributed this spell of bad luck to the stones he picked up right before these harrowing events transpired, and as such, he returned them to the park. Now what's even more eerie is that this same park says that stolen items are returned by mail pretty often and that others have claimed misfortune caused by the objects as well. Perhaps his misfortune was just coincidence, but considering the history of Gettysburg and the timing, I can't blame the guy for believing otherwise. Number seven, the Hope Diamond Curse. When you hear the name Hope Diamond, I'd imagine you'd think of something sparkling and filled with promise, not something that's jinxed many of its owners in the centuries following its creation. 
The stone associated with this curse is estimated to be worth a quarter of a billion dollars. The first instance of the ring cursing someone was after it was stolen from an ancient statue by a Hindu thief who was quickly caught by local authorities. The burglar was subjected to a slow and agonizing death with the ring then falling into obscurity for many years, only before being uncovered in the Golconda mines in Southwest India. Here it was sold by a merchant for a nice profit before that same seller was mauled to death by dogs shortly after its sale. The person who bought the diamond didn't fare much better, as its new owner, King Louis XIV, was famously beheaded in the French Revolution. And following France's rebellion, the diamond fell into obscurity once more, with all of the owners sharing similar ill fates, including insane debts, followed by either being murdered or the owners committing suicide. So if you're ever looking for an engagement ring, steer clear of this 45 carat catastrophe. Number six, King Tut. Egypt is famous for its ties to the spirit world and the curses placed by ancient mages. One of the ancient civilization's most famous examples of this is the curse of the Pharaoh, aka King Tut's Hex. Back over three millennia ago, when the pyramids were still young, an even younger king was elected to rule over the ancient lands. Tutankhamun was given the throne at the age of nine and then directed Egypt for the next decade before passing at the age of 19. From there, he was buried in the Valley of the Kings alongside other past Egyptian leaders, with a powerful curse then placed onto his final resting place, one that would inflict divine punishment on any who dared to desecrate his tomb. The stories of the ex-pharaoh and his jinx surfaced shortly after his tomb was unearthed by archaeologists. Those same adventurers who dared to breach the tomb of the fallen king were then faced with the aforementioned curse. And while this isn't quite as terrifying as the mummy coming to life, those who fell victim to the hex all passed away under some mysterious circumstances, after which their passing and the legend quickly gained traction with the locals before rumors started spreading across the world with the curse now being recognized as a warning to all who dared trifle with the boy pharaoh. Number 5. Robert the Doll Annabelle might have been rather creepy, but she isn't the only doll that's seemingly possessed by a vengeful spirit. Robert the Doll was purchased as a gift by a young man named Otto back over a century ago. From the day he got it, Otto had a strange connection to the doll, referring to him as more as a person rather than a toy. The kid took the figurine literally everywhere with him, even to the home that he lived in as an adult. Supposedly, the doll remained in the house for many years, even after Otto's passing. Robert was later rediscovered by the home's new owner after they heard footsteps and giggling coming from their attic, and upon investigating, they were only met with this doll. They continued putting up with the figure's antics before donating him to the Fort East Martello Museum in 1994. Guests who visited Robert in his attraction either treated the doll with respect or mocked its alleged supernatural power. However, those who acted as though the doll was nothing more than an outdated plaything later reported ill happenings in their lives, with things like divorces, debt, and medical issues all being attributed to contempt from the doll after they failed to acknowledge him as more than an inanimate object. If you ever head over to that museum, the staff recommends you bring a few pieces of candy to share with Robert, otherwise you might meet a similar fate to those who mocked him. Number 4. The Bassano Vase while a good number of entries on this list of hexed artifacts have some reason for being cursed, the Bassano vase is the exception to that rule. And unlike our other entries, it also isn't an object available for viewing. Rather, all traces of where the vase is have seemingly dissipated into the unknown, with the vase having no direct eyewitness accounts of it even being real, there are only stories of this fabled heirloom existing, all of which from the original tale, we know that it was given to the couple back in the 15th century. A gift to a young bride on the night before her wedding seems pretty pleasant. However, she never made it to the ceremony as the woman was later found deceased the next morning. Nothing about the cause of the death was ever reported and the vase was given to a family member who also passed away shortly after receiving it. And this is where it gets creepy. After this, it was then given once more to their next of kin only for that relative to then pass away as well. Now convinced that the vase was indeed cursed, the family buried the object. The vase went on to lay beneath the earth for many years before a young man uncovered the item which had a warning label on it, noting that the vase brought death to whomever possessed it. The young man quickly auctioned the vase off to a pharmacist who, similarly to those who previously owned it, passed away shortly after gaining possession of it. It then followed a similar trend to the first chain of deaths, with each new owner passing away until eventually 
the vase seemingly vanished without a trace. We can only hope that this time it remains out of sight forever. Number 3. The Cursed Porsche James Dean is easily one of America's most iconic actors from the 1950s. Being featured in films like Rebel Without a Cause and Giant, James became a massively celebrated actor by the age of just 24. Sadly though, his storied career on the big screen wasn't a particularly long one, as he passed away in a fatal car wreck when his 550 Porsche Spider collided head-on with a 1950 Ford Tudor. And while his life ended in the accident, what remained of James' car seemingly took on a life of its own. It was reported that some pieces of his beloved Porsche were sold off to other drivers, either as his replacement parts or as morbid memorabilia of the movie star. However, those who did purchase the parts were all oddly plagued by misfortune not long after coming into contact with them. These adversities included things like health issues and even crippling debt. The car also disappeared a few decades back, which makes it particularly difficult to pinpoint if the cursed vehicle was actually hexed after all. Surprisingly enough, the car didn't drive into the sunset by itself. So for now, I suppose the only curse you'll need to worry about is angry pedestrians high-beaming you. Number 2. Thomas Busby's Chair Local legends around North Yorkshire detail of a chair that was owned by a thug named Thomas Busby. The dark story surrounding the seat was one of jealousy as Thomas, stricken with envy over another man charming his wife, allegedly bludgeoned him after finding the man resting on the chair. Later in that same summer, Busby was convicted for murder and sentenced to death, but prior to his demise was given a final request. That request being one last drink in his favorite chair, where he then cursed the seat declaring that anyone who sat in his beloved chair would soon meet their own ill fate. In the years since, there has been an estimated 60 fatalities associated with those who took a seat in the doomed chair, some being soldiers from the Second World War who have been dared by their comrades to test their fate in the hex seat only for those who took the challenge to never return home. Aside from those, there were plenty of other instances of folks passing away, with some being run over, others suffering fatal road accidents, and even some dying of heart attacks while in the chair. Nowadays, the chair is kept out of reach for the fear that it still may claim the lives of any who sit in Busby's favorite seat. Maybe for now we'll just stick to Grandma's lap, huh? Number 1. Delhi Purple Sapphire If there's one thing I hope you take away from today's video, it's that if something has tragedy associated with it or says, this is cursed, you should probably stay away from it, but that isn't what Peter Tandy did when he happened across the Delhi Purple Sapphire and the cursed past that it came with. The stone had quite a troubling history, dating all the way back to 1857, when the British were oppressing India and its people. At the time, it wasn't rare to see British soldiers looting Indian temples to find treasures to take back home. So much so that Colonel W. Ferris grabbed a purple sapphire and took it back to his native land of England. However, upon bringing the stone home, he and his family were instantly plagued by financial misfortunes and various debilitating illnesses. Curious about if the gem was to blame, he lent to a friend who mysteriously committed suicide after coming into contact with the stone. The gem was then linked to many other tragedies in the century that followed until eventually it ended up in the possession of Peter, who then donated it to the Natural History Museum. The gem nowadays still resides within the museum and as of today has not caused any recent misfortunes, although if the history of the gem is to be believed, it's only a matter of time before the purple sapphire begins wreaking havoc once again. I think this is the part of the show where I tell you if you don't subscribe, you too will be cursed. I, I don't know if I believe any of that stuff, but <laughs> I, I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> oh yeah, check out this other video right here. Click the annotation on screen right now to teleport over there, and I'll see you guys over there. Keep it right here on Top 5 Central.